What's up guys, Brandon Gentile here, Legacy Group Real Estate Team. We're talking about our, our little Q&A Tuesday. We do kind of a micro of the macro. So we do our insider's reports once a month. We just did it uh, recently for November, but uh, we're gonna talk quickly today about some crypto, but also some silver opportunities. Um, silver has dropped about $2 in the last, an ounce in the last uh, few weeks, last month or so really in large part to do because of the surge in crypto. There's a lot of people moving their holdings from silver and, and going and buying uh, Bitcoin and uh, things of that nature, which is interesting uh, because you don't have a lot of people necessarily moving out of gold and then moving into crypto in those uh, cryptocurrencies. So it's very interesting. Um, you know, the general population is a lot more in the silver than, um, you know, say smart money. A lot of smart money is in gold. So you see a lot of the, uh, the, you know, the, the lot of smart money is in gold and there's a lot of people that, you know, a lot of the people that aren't the quote unquote smart money that are in silver because it's a cheaper asset to buy. They're the ones jumping out of something and thinking, oh yeah, hey, this is, might be something. It's, it's just interesting because it's really smoking people out. So it's getting people that were into silver for the wrong reason. It's getting them out. It's making them jump ship because they think they're gonna make a quick buck and get into Bitcoin, get into some other crypto, uh, Ethereum, Litecoin or whatever, one of the cryptos. So um, it's interesting. So it's presenting a silver opportunity. Um, it's something that I like. I mean, again, along the premises of we talk about all the time buy low sell high right so when things drop and things are down that's when you buy um, and this is something that again the debate is raging right now obviously with crypto in Bitcoin Bitcoin is just going through the roof but you know when is the right time to buy you know I know people that have bought you know very low prices I know people that have bought recently uh, but you know, it's something that, is it gonna crash again? When is it gonna crash? Maybe this is the bottom, maybe it's gonna go up, maybe it's just gonna go to a million. Who knows, I think there's incredible, um, there's incredible opportunity for, for crypto, and what it's gonna do, could do for society, not just with uh, currency, but just with, with many factors of life. So I think we're absolutely gonna see that in our lifetime uh, and just going forward. I don't know if we're ready yet. I don't think, you know, there's most, most places in the world don't even accept uh, crypto and things like that. So we're not there yet, but there's a lot of things that um, play into it and governments are gonna play roles into it, all these different things. But uh, there's a great documentary actually that I'll link to on here as well that talks about uh, the crypto and just kind of what's going on here. So I'll, I'll talk about that or I'll, I'll link to that. But um, really the silver is just is such a huge opportunity. And this is, um, the, that's why I talk about the ratios a lot, right? So crypto uh, silver is at um, say like 15 15 and a half something like that right around there you know gold up in that 1200 range somewhere around that and it's really I don't know the math off the top of my head but it's really like that 1 to 70 range or you know 1 to 75 or something like that but the, this is what my point is what I want to show you guys is that the ratios when you're jumping out of asset classes and other asset classes you really want to make sure that the ratios make sense you want to look at the historical data and make sure that things are making sense so naturally naturally the silver to gold ratio so this this is a silver to gold ratio so this is I should say gold to silver gold to silver ratio so for one ounce of gold right now you can get you know about 70 to 75 ounces of silver so naturally that's really probably about 1 to 12 you know or something like that so we're gonna say naturally it's 1 to we'll say 1 to 15 it's something like that naturally occurring in in life that's just how much is available, how much there is. Um, so that could just go to show you when you, when that gets down to about one to 30, you know that you know gold's a pretty good buy, it's a pretty good bargain. Um, even if it drops down to 50, 40, stuff like that, you'll see a lot of people jumping out of silver and, and moving that, that into uh, uh, gold. So that's, again, this is something I was just talking to you about this the other day with somebody, and you, a, lot, you, a lot of people, that's when you're really balancing back and forth. You're taking your holdings. So like right now, because the ratio is so extreme, you have a lot of people jumping out of gold and into silver. So you have them, t you know, people selling off their gold and buying silver because they can get more silver for their gold. And then when this ratio drops, when it goes closer to this, you know, you're in your one to, to thir uh, 40, one to 30, um, you have a lot of people selling their silver and then jumping and buying into gold. So you can keep that you know, seesaw going back and forth and you can keep accumulating more ounces of each every single time you do that. So that's, this is why the ratios are so important. And that's why, and, and again, all this is, again, is, is dividing the, um, the ounces of 
gold and ounces of silver. So just you're getting the ratio, how many ounces can we buy? How many ounces of silver would it take at this price to buy one ounce of gold? So that's the way you come up with these ratios. Um, and again, it's presenting right now because of crypto, what's going on with crypto, it's presenting a huge opportunity with silver. Um, it's been like that for a while. It's, it's very, very interesting. We've, again, we could put all the charts up here, but we have, you know, the silver's hitting its, you know, 200 day moving average, basically. It's it's below that right now, actually. So, you know, some people think the, the bottom is in. There's a lot of interesting things going on. I mean, five, six, seven, eight years ago, when I really started getting into currency and started to follow some of these big people, it was, this was it was around but it wasn't it was on no one's radar yet and now this is interesting how it's disrupting the flow of things a little bit and uh, it'll be interesting because i think that again we've talked about it for a couple of years on here now that uh, people know where i stand i mean there was definitely a correction coming a crash whatever it may be because that's just life you know i i i'm confident in saying that because that's history um i heard some other day saying that i don't know maybe it'll last 20 more years or 30 years i mean is there a chance i could do that yeah i mean there's a chance but i just i don't know any time in history that there's been a 30 or 40 or 50 year just climb in a, in a stock market or a, an economic cycle um it goes into seven to ten year cycle seven to nine year cycles that's just life that's just what happens i mean we've had some that have gone above 10 we've had a lot below that it's just on average what happens and it's just that's the normal life cycle so prepare for things like that use these ratios for your guide again we've talked about the ratios here as well you can divide um, you really want to divide things of value you want to divide um you know, a median price house of a home or a barrel of oil, uh, gold, silver, um, you know, things like that. It's That's what you want to be judging against each other. You don't want to be judging in dollars or things of that nature because dollars are just paper. They don't mean anything unless they have confidence behind them, just like, you know, Bitcoin right now or, or crypto. I mean, they don't necessarily mean anything yet because they're not that usable. Um, it's a lot of people, you know, it's a greed driven spike. So you have a lot of people, people are seeing the benefits of it. I mean, the, the reason why it's, it's going up is because people see the benefits of it, um, which are absolutely there. There are some negatives, which we talked about, obviously, just with, you know, the grid going down or things like that. But the positive, the upside of it is so huge and so amazing. And again, I'll link to this documentary, which is awesome. Um, but it's, which by the way, the documentary is by uh, the gold and silver guy we talk about a lot, Mike Maloney. And it's it's a great documentary. He, he is a big proponent of Bitcoin, a big proponent of really, you know, a lot of the gold and silver people are, they're proponents of free money, of free people, of limited government. Um, you know, people, government, people uh, being able to run their own lives. You know, I, like I think you can make your decisions for your life better than I could. You know, if I'm in Washington, D.C., the problem with Washington, D.C. is that most people go there and they think that they then all of a sudden know better and can run your life better than you can, which I inherently despise. And I think that every single person in this world can make the decisions for themselves better than I could or better than Donald Trump or Barack Obama could. There's just no doubt about it. So. That's what makes this country great, and that's what will continue to make this country great, because I think there's too many of us out there that understand that and get that. Um, but again, these are the ratios, these are the things that we need to look at when we're looking at asset classes, whether it's real estate, business, paper, um, you know, commodities. We have to look at these ratios, make sure, okay, these ratios are, are way down, so we need to jump into gold, or wow, they're way up here, they're really extreme, we need to jump into silver. Um, and again, those present buying opportunities. When things crash or things correct, it presents buying opportunities for all of us. And those that are ready for it are the people that will succeed and prosper. So um, I hope this sheds a little bit of light and just to kind of what's going on. And again, these are the things I watch all the time. Um, I love watching the ratios because again, that just tells me what I need to be in and, and which way I need to be going. So um, I appreciate your guys' time and energy uh, more than anything because I know how important it is. Uh, we don't get time and energy. Uh, we just don't get more of it. So I appreciate everything. I appreciate the comments and everything you guys send to us. It really means the world to us. And we look forward to doing this for you continually um, because really we get out of a lot of it selfishly. We get a lot out of it. I get a ton out of studying these things and teaching these things. And it's just, it's amazing. And uh, I love doing it and, and my team loves doing it. So. Um, Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for your time, your time and energy, and we will look forward to talking to you very soon.